Morning guys, welcome to the 4th of November. It's Monday morning and I'm just starting to do some field walking. So I'm down here on the fairings on the hayfield. I've just walked across it just to see how it's bearing up. Uh, Fully enough it's still sopping wet. There is actually a big puddle, I don't know if you can see it very well, but right down there there's a big puddle sat in the middle of it again, in that low spot. And the ditch is still full of water as well. Uh, it's not going out very quickly. But the only good thing is that the river's kind of down. It's looking a bit nasty though, it's looking rather brown. Um, but hopefully she'll stay down for a bit. And hoping that we get a bit of frost as well. Really start drying things up again. Um, I say that field's very wet. You could almost travel on it if you had flotation tyres. But I wouldn't like to do it. <laughs> Too much of a risk on it. And you might be able to see straight forward. See the dark patches there? They are the reed grass starting to come through. Which does seem to enjoy this weather. So hopefully next spring, if I get time and chance, I can get through here and mow it all off again. The key thing with reed grass is just to keep mowing the damn stuff. It's not a problem having it in the hay. Horses being browsers, basically eat everything and anything. The uh, they could do with a bit of roughage in the in the feed anyway. Just giving them grass all the time doesn't do much good. Makes them a bit loose as well sometimes, which is <laughs> what's happening in the uh, in the boys' winter field. This a lot of them seem to be quite loose now with the amount of grass that's there and not really think anything in it. It's just bulk. Um, so the bales are actually starting to warm up quite nicely. You just see the wisps of steam coming out. So hopefully we'll get rid of this this year. Um, it'd be quite nice to get it spread on the land, get whatever seed is still viable in that pile back out on the land, thicken it all up again. Um, and this is the the mare's winter field, so the girl's winter field. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's not doing too bad. It's very wet again. Again, with the ditch being full of water, it's not draining very well. The whole field kind of slopes annoyingly away from the river down to that ditch. <laughs> but you can't win them all. So it's not too bad at this end, but towards the ditch it gets a lot wetter. And there's also this uh, distinction in the grass, this line in the grass that I've got. Now this is where I did the second, or some of the second cutting. So left hand side is second cut, right hand side I didn't bother. There's loads of thistles in it and rubbish and stuff so it wasn't worth mowing it off. But the uh, left hand side, the second cut, is a bit much finer grass that's in there. Whereas the right hand side is a bit more tufty and a bit thicker and a bit, well, a bit mankier to be honest. But the girls aren't minding too much, they're trampling most of it. <laughs> There's still a fair bite on this, which is good. They have cleared out quite a lot of it down that far end. It's uh, very thin down there but it's the nicest grass. So as the winter carries on, hopefully they'll start working their way up here. Start chewing this out. Um, I think next year what I'm going to have to try and do is get rid of the thistles as well as the uh, nettles. We seem to have quite a thistle issue at the moment, which is a bit of a pig. Um, not too worried about the uh, the nettles because nettles are fairly easy to get rid of. It's just the thistles that I'm, I'm worried about. Seem to have got it in quite a lot of our land at the moment. I don't know if that's because I've cleared all the rubbish out. And that's the only thing left, or what? We don't know. <laughs> and there's also a lot of yarrow as well kicking around. Whereas in the the hayfield we just looked at, there's a lot of common hogweed. And here it's yarrow. You can just see all the way down the bank side. There's quite a bit into the field, so I have to try and get rid of that smell. And it should be uh, another good harvest next year, hopefully. Love to get some more muck on this, but I don't think we've got enough.
it's quantities that we struggle with but time will tell anyway I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you later cheers guys, bye